Hey there, everyone. I'm here tonight to share with you a few things that you need to know about supplements. I'm gonna start off on this three-part series because I've been getting lots of questions about supplements and, you know, what's good? Why should I be supplementing? What to look for? You know, how do I know if it's right for me? So I figured out what I'd do is I'd break this up into a three-part series. Uh, part one, tonight, we're gonna talk about why you need to be supplementing. And then tomorrow, part two, I'll go into some of the red flags that you want to be aware of when choosing a supplement. And then part three on Thursday, um, I'll talk more into how do you decide what kind of supplements are right for you. So, my name's Shelly Levi. I am 20 years in the fitness industry as a group fitness instructor and personal trainer. Now, um, I by no means am an expert in this area. However, do I have a lot of experience in working with clients with my personal training. I've got a lot of background in nutrition and with my own health issues, I've learned a lot about food and the body, nutri nutrition, and how that all works in. So without uh, further ado here, let's go ahead and we'll get going into this. So why should we be supplementing? And, um, and quite honestly, in my opinion, everyone should be supplementing. And this is why I'm gonna tell you, Right now, when you know you look at the back of your, there is the recommended daily allowance. And that recommended daily allowance is based off of 2,000 calories. And you know, when you really think about it, how many of us are really eating 2,000 calories? Now, for you guys out there, that's probably not a problem. But for a lot of us women, we're probably closer to the 12 to 1500 range. 12 to 1500 calories, you're not even getting the recommended daily allowance of your nutrients, which is based off of 2000. So you already are depleting your body with the amount of calories that you're taking in. Then on top of it, we're throwing in exercise. And now we're depleting our body even more of the nutrients that we need. And it makes it very, very difficult for the body to recover when it's not getting those nutrients. And how I like to kind of better explain this is what I call the diet cycle. And in the diet cycle, a lot of people will start off with their new plan or their new program. They're all excited, they're all ready to go, and that first week they're just rocking it. You know, they're following that nutrition plan, they're getting in their workouts, you know, and for most people they're doing five, six, seven workouts in that first week. And then they come into week two, and things start to get a little bit more challenging. Body isn't recovering, they're starting to notice more fatigue set in, they're tired, um, things are achy, it just things are not wanting to bounce back. People start to get really irritable and um, maybe even some headaches will come in. And then, then you'll start to notice these cravings to take place. And by the end of the week two, you are miserable. You're miserable. And then you find yourself in a position where you're out with friends or you're out with family, you know, and they're happy, they're eating pizza, they're having burgers, they're having a couple cocktails, and you know what, and they're looking like they're feeling like great, and you're over here feeling like crap because your body is so depleted from the nutrients and the workouts that you've been doing, and now you give in. You give in, you have that pizza, you have that beer, you have that burgers, and, you know, and then you're like, you know what, oh well, I'll just start back up on Monday. Sound like you? You know, it's that yo-yo, that yo-yo effect, up and down, up and down, up and down. But the thing is, it doesn't need to be that way. 
if your body is getting what it needs, you won't be going through, for most of us, you won't be going through that yo-yo effect. But your body has to get the nutrients. And so I came across in working with one of my colleagues here, um, an article in JAMA, which is the Journal of American Medicine Association. And then that article, they talk about how for someone to get 100% of their macronutrients, amongst other things, that person would have to consume 27,000 calories. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't misread that, 27,000 calories. Obviously, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. But I think that goes to tell you how depleted our food is. Our food today is not the same food we had 20 years ago. Our soils aren't as nutrient dense. We've got a lot more pollution going on. And all that compiled together, our produce just doesn't give us our nutrients that they used to give us. And so, you know, I'll find a lot of people that will say, well, you know what, I'll just still, I'll just eat clean. You know, I'll clear out all that other crap and I'll just eat clean. And that's, that'll be good enough. However, in that same article, 56% of people who focused on eating clean were still nutrient deficient, 56%. And we know when the body is nutrient deficient, a lot of health issues will start to develop. Um, for instance, you know, if you're depleted in calcium, you know, you're at risk for developing, you know, weak bones, osteoporosis, amongst other things, you know? So when you are depleted, it sets the ground for inflammation to start to develop. And the more inflammation we have, the more health issues will start to develop. Thyroid disease, adrenal fatigue, autoimmune diseases will set in. Then you've got heart disease, diabetes, you know, will start to lead to some people overweight and maybe eventually even to obesity. Um, a lot of these things start to develop to the tune of about 80%. 80% of the people that are nutrient deficient will start to develop some of these issues. That's a pretty high number. And personally, that's a number that I don't care to put my body at risk for. And so I feel like it for me, I know that my health is very, very vital for me to be in the person I want to be. I can't be the mom I want to be. I can't be the wife. I can't be, you know, a good wife, a good friend, um, a good colleague. All the things that I want to do revolves around my health. And when my health is in place, I feel good. I can be that person I want to be. But you have to take into account, are you feeding the body? Is your body getting what it needs? And so I found that out in 2013, you know, for on my own personal story. This is while I'd already been diagnosed with celiac disease, you know, and a lot of, you know, there was a lot of gut health. Um, you don't, if you don't have the gut health going on, that's associated with about, you know, 70% of your gut health associated with your immunity. And so if this isn't taken care of and doesn't get what it needs, um, again, the body doesn't cooperate. And in 2013, I found out, you know, I was nutrient deficient in magnesium, calcium, vitamin D, B12, iron, and I think there was another one, maybe potassium. I think there was another one or two on there. Me, who's a fitness professional, working out every day, eating clean, and I still was nutrient deficient. I was still struggling in with adrenal fatigue and what they would call chronic fatigue syndrome, joint pain. My muscles were not recovering. 
And I know a lot of that is because my body was not absorbing what it needed. And a lot of times you'll hear you are what you eat, but I like to better stress it as you are what you absorb. And so I was taking a multivitamin, a very reputable one. However, that man-made synthetic vitamin was not absorbing into my body. It was not absorbing into my body. And it's when I found a supplement that actually absorbed into my body, I didn't have those issues anymore. To the point when I went into the doctor this last fall when a few things had popped up, they had checked all those things and I was no longer nutrient deficient in any of those areas. And so it made me realize that, um, you know, what I was taking was working for me. Now it was a matter of what, what wasn't working for me last fall was dealing with the stress. <laughs> so, but now it, what was working for me though, I wasn't nutrient deficient in any of those things anymore. And I can tell immediately when my body isn't cooperating. So that is my recommendation and my suggestion that, you know, it really is impossible for everyone to get what they need strictly from their food. And so at some point you're going to have to figure out, you know, what is going to work for you because what works for me may not work for you. But that's what I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover in these next couple parts, you know, and share some more of, you know, what to look for and how do you know if it's right for you. But at least you know now why supplementing is important and why you need it in there. And the more the body gets the nutrients it needs, the more it can function, the so organs can do what they're designed to do and it will cooperate. So I hope you found this information useful. If you have more questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. I'll do my best at answering them or even private message me. I know sometimes it can be a little awkward to share some personal um, stories um, right here on Facebook. But um, uh, yeah, don't be afraid to um, ask me any questions. And then again, like I said, tune in to Wednesday and Thursday where you'll get the part two and part three of the series of why you should be supplementing and some of the things you should need to know. All right, you guys have a great night. Thanks for joining me.